Okay, let's dive into CSS within Svelte. There's a lot of things you can do. When we take a look at this kitten A, this isn't a P tag that we've styled all along. And as you can see here, the, the styling makes sense. What is interesting though is, let's say that we want everything in our application that has an H tag to have this styling. So instead, let's, let's go ahead and put an H tag at the top of every image. Oops. Uh, h tag, so let's do h2, and then let's put the name in here. And so now we're getting that kitten a up there and instead of this p tag down here. So let's remove the p tag, and you'll notice it's no longer um, purple and doesn't have white, which is great. Now let's say we want to go up a level into our kitten picker. So in our kitten picker, we also want to have an h2, and we want to say this is just kitten picker would be good. So at that kitten picker level, we now have our white cap grabbing grass. That's great. Um, it, it looks okay, but I really wanted the different levels of this to have some different styling. So let's just late make this very clear on what we're updating. So I'm going to put in a style tag, and we're going to put in H2, and we want the color of all of our H2s to be red. So you can see one of them became red, but this one down here remains white no matter what kitten we're on. And that's due to the fact that Svelte is component level scoped. So let's get, dive back into our kitten. So let's say all of our kitten, let's take out the P tag, but let's put in the same H tag. So in here, we want this H tag, H2 tag I should say, to be a color of green. So as you can see now, we get that color green set in here. And that's, again, it's because of the scoping. And if you're curious of how this works, let's go ahead and inspect this element. Um, in here, you'll see this class that has LGC da 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 da. That is specifically scoped when you define your styles to that component. So if we look up here, you can see that the JQ one, S-JQ, is actually has the red. So you're probably asking yourself, do I have to do this across my entire application? No, in fact, what we can do is, is at our very top level up here, we can put another style tag in. And we wanna say, let's make our H2 up here a color of yellow. Okay, so nothing is yellow yet, and that's because we have um, both of those defined at our component level. So we would expect when we remove these, wait, why did it remain white? Again, that's because we are component scoped. So instead, what we can do is say global, and then put an H2 in, and now this will go out globally across. So let's take a look at that in our inspector as well. So on H2, globally, notice there's nothing dash in here for the component, we have that. So if I remove kitten, this will also update to yellow, and now we have an H2 that's yellow across everything. So let's go ahead and clean up some more things since we're in here. Um, so instead of that styling, let's do something like making sure this layout looks a little better. Um, so something that I would actually offer up in the top level, I think the color is probably fine. We just did that to make sure you could see everything very clearly. Instead, what we're gonna do is remove the spacing around it. So often when you come in here, you'll look and see that H2 um, has this font, this font size and display block and margins all set. So we really wanna zero those items out and this is where that global property really comes in handy. So if we do, um, font size is probably okay. Let's do a margin zero, and then I think that should do it. So, so now we have all of our margins for our H2 set to zero. Now there's a lot of different packages, including Tailwind, which we'll get into in some of our courses further. Um, that'll make this easier. It'll zero out all of the CSS and set it to a default so you don't have to deal with the user agent styling. 
So now that we have that set, what we can do is dive back into this, and let's let's go ahead and put our colors back in. I kind of kind of like that. I don't know about the red so much, but let's do um, maybe a darker purple or slate. Let's do slate gray. See how that looks. All right, slate gray looks good, and then let's put back. Um, Let's go with like a blue. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> How about um, sky blue? Steel blue. Steel blue. All right. I like the steel blue on there. So you notice now that everything is kind of smashed together because we took away all of the margins. So let's clean up some other things. In here, when we are doing the, the kitten sw switches, um, you can tell that some of these are coming up with um, images that are one on top of each other, as well as these buttons. So let's put some flex items in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a section in. And for us, because we just have this single section in this component, we section down here, and we're going to make that section do a display of flex. And then the flex direction for this, we're actually going to do column. So that way our column is going to put the name and then the image under it. And then under section, we're going to have another div. We're going to actually put a class on this one so you can see um, this is going to be called images. And actually, let me put that one in the right spot. So we want images here. So any of these images that come up, we want that to remain within the correct scope. Um, so we have dot images down here, and this is also going to be a display flex, but this time we're going to do a flex direction of row. Okay, so now you see how these are kind of coming out. I have it really zoomed in, but that is the normal look of this. Um, and now that we have row, we can do other things too, like a gap. Um, let's just do one rem and see what that looks like. So there's your gap as well. So that's all within this kitten component that isn't spilling out. So you're not seeing that across buttons or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and copy the same display here and put that in our button section. So on this kitten picker, we can actually have in our each here, we'll do another this is actually perfect because we'll say instead of images, we'll call this buttons. And for our buttons, we can use that same setup of one rem. And there you go. We have one rem with all of our buttons. It's probably too big, so I'd probably do more like 0.5 or something like that. Um, and yeah, now you can see all of the niceness per component. And again, nothing is spilling over, so it's it's safe for this section to be in here because it's just in the component space. So I hope that makes sense. It's just a quick overview of how CSS is super simple to use in Svelte and how it's all component scoped so it shouldn't leak out.